Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What you say? Nothing. <laughs> Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed as they continue recklessly building along the coast. Known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Salted or raw, king mackerel remains a time-honored staple of American dinner tables. Finning Enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. The hell are you? Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water.
parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Destruction of natural coastal habitats is sometimes necessary to build vacation homes for private equity fund partners. Beginning in 1946, WZUZ began broadcasting the country variety show Hillbilly Hayloft Hoedown, live from Pier 1. No such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Sometimes. 
sometimes our fate as human beings to be relegated to edible meat. Conventional apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work here. That he was afraid of that Ferris wheel. Should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. Huh? Insatiable fish. The bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Come on now. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. sniff of that fresh ocean breeze, and even a shark is transported to that bikini mandatory mindset. Many a child has run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. Right at me. What the hell is it? 
Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. Sapphire Bay. You see it? Shoot it. Let's make that money, boy! doesn't return to the sea, she'll eventually find out. and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Like my son Jack. Seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its road shark. For now.
can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. The of this shark is nearly insatiable. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Clovis, making it dangerous for anything that's what Justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. Shark in Sapphire Bay? Sapphire Bay has had several piers, three that were destroyed by hurricanes, and two that collapsed due to substandard construction and safety deficiencies.
In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Turning around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. I'm a licensed shark hunter. No very bothers with this formality. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided.
is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. and quasi-legal, get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shark hunters get to work. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop other people's actions. The bull shark triumphs, overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. 